Hello folks, George here. Hope everybody's doing okay. Well, today is Saturday. It's uh, April 13th, 2024. And uh, today's reading is going to be about Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. Still no word for the, from these ladies here, folks. It's been three weeks since they went missing, March 30th, day before Easter. And uh, these ladies, they need, they need our help to keep the word out, keep their faces up there. Something, I feel something, maybe tragedy, something bad has happened to these poor ladies. And the story goes... Uh, Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly were, Veronica was on the way to uh, go meet up with her children, and uh, Julian was riding along. She was a uh, DCS worker, and she, uh, they were acquaintances, uh, but Veronica had to have someone to go with her. Uh, to uh, meet up with the, the kids, and Veronica was going to have the kids the weekend, and they were planning to go on a boat ride and all kind of stuff. Well, the two ladies, they never made it. They never made it. They found the car in the uh, Oklahoma panhandle, the planes there. Uh, supposedly the windows shot out, blood in the car, blood on the outside of the on the ground and the ladies were nowhere to be found authorities are saying now that they had been shot but still no bodies so I decided I would do a, a reading today folks and uh, so let's let's see let's do this hello spirits and uh, if this is your first time um, watching this I do this differently, folks. I do the board completely different from what most of, uh, uh, you know, like the tarot readers that you would see. And first of all, I want to express that I am not a psychic. I am not a uh, medium. I don't, I just practice, I just study the card reading sort of like a hobby. Uh, it's a fascination to me, matter of fact. But I do have a very dear old friend uh, her name is Marilyn, and she is an uh, she's an, a professional psychic. I mean, she's been a psychic since the age thirteen, and she has studied the cards and the divination world and palm reading. She does palm reading, but she does everything privately. She doesn't want to be on YouTube. She doesn't want to have anything to do with that. But what she does, she helps me with the readings. So if I go and ask her, such as this case, and she has been keeping up with this case very intensely. So if I say, I'd like to do a reading for Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly, she said she would love for me to do that. And she's looked at a few cards herself, but I only do the one card and, well, two cards, the one Terra Spirit card, and then the Spirit card. We'll get to that in just a minute. But she helps me, and she gives me the information of what's coming up and what she thinks the vision of these spirits are doing. So we're going to get started, and let's go ahead and go. Spirits, my name is George, and I welcome you in. Now, if this is your first time watching my videos, uh, this is something new that I've added. Um, this is the uh, the Dowson Pendulum. Okay, it's a um, it's a device. It's on a chain. It could be an object at the end of the chain, but it's a form of what uh, what spirits can kind of work with. You know, they love working with uh, items. Anything that you can have on the table, they like to try to communicate with it. And so this is the pendulum. So, And I've, I've not been doing the pendulum a, a long, long time, but it's very fascinating, folks. It is so fascinating. I welcome you in. 
and I'm trying to get the spirits come in to get a spirit come in and uh, and that's where that's what I'm doing exactly right now you can communicate with me with these devices here we have the electronic now that right there folks at the top that is an electronic meter uh, magnetic finder it it will pick up any kind of um, electronical like a energy that's close to it and it'll light up and it sounds and boy folks sometimes it's so scary how how crazy this thing will go off but at this moment I could already tell that there was a some sort of an energy that was in my presence and I'm welcoming the energy I want the good energy I do not want any negative energy device here you're welcome to communicate with that it will light up if you're in the presence here I have a digit I have a pendulum here Have a pendulum here and I need to establish if I have a spirit here this light was starting to flicker and I'm trying to straighten out the chain and I was trying to get a, a view that you could see what I'm doing normally I'm sitting down relaxed uh, when I'm doing the pendulum I, and uh, that way you can get the you know you breathe just just slowly and uh, the pendulum will actually react uh, to you so I'm trying to get a yes and no answer from this pendulum this is the Dowson pendulum the Dowson pendulum spirits if you're here <laughs> it's a beeping Will you give me an answer here? You can move the pendulum. I need to know which direction is yes. Which direction is yes. Which direction is yes. Which it was very difficult from this position to try to get the, the chain to uh, be steady. Because um, I wanted you to kind of see exactly what I'm doing. Here, Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. I need a spirit. Spirits, are you here? What direction is yes towards me? Okay. Towards me. Okay. So that's when you're doing the pendulum, you'll you'll ask that. You always want to ask the, or Marilyn said it's a good idea to ask a spirit, if you feel like there's an energy in your presence, to ask the spirit what it wants to decide what is yes and what is no. And it'll let you know on the pendulum. I hear you. Which direction is no? left to right yep that's okay, very that's crazy I was feeling the energy okay I have a spirit here I do have a spirit do I have a spirit with me do I have a spirit with me Yes. It's crazy, right? Okay. Just, just, and I'm desperately not moving my hand. Just, you just breathe. That's all you're doing is just breathing. Are you going to be my spirit here? <laughs> the, I call it the ghost beacon. It was just starting to react. It was, uh, it was something. Are you going to be honest with me? And that's another thing, folks. When you do this, and anybody can do this, um, 
just a chain, a ring, um, and, uh, and and you want to make sure that you get you know ask the right questions, but you also want to make sure that you you have a truthful spirit. If you feel like there's an energy there, make sure it's a asking ask the the spirit if it's going to be truthful with you. Will you be honest with me? Okay. Yes. Oh, Very good. Thank you, Spirit. Can I give you... May I give you a name, Spirit? Now that... It's another thing that Marilyn said is a really good idea. If you have a spirit or an energy that is in your presence and you feel, you know, comfortable with that spirit, um, it's a good idea to uh, give them a name. And you can do this in many, many ways. I do it with numbers, and I'll show you here in a minute. But Marilyn says it's kind of like children. The spirits are kind of like children. They love to be... Uh, given a name so that you can communicate with them personally. Now, whether there were more spirits here, it's possible, you know. But if you focus on that one spirit and give them a name, they seem to react to you a lot better. May I give you a name? I was getting... Yes. Yeah. Getting a yes. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So it appears we have a Spirit here. I'm going to put you there. Okay. So I have my Spirit here. <laughs> First, let's find out, Spirit, will you tell me if you're a male, female, or a neutral. And these folks are the um, uh, gender cards, is what I call them. And it kind of lets us know if there's a, if it's a male spirit, maybe, a female spirit, or just neutral. You know, it can be both, or it can just be, just don't want to say. But uh, these cards are amazing. I love this. And you can kind of just determine it, kind of, I feel like the energy is kind of letting me know what they used to be when they, you know, possibly when they were on Earth or alive, I guess. Or you just can't say. Do I have a male, female, or a neutral spirit? I'm going to roll the dice there, spirits. Oh, I hear you. Oh my gosh, did you? If there's any negative spirits here, please go away. Yeah, you always want to try to get rid of the negativity. Anything you feel like, if the, or even if you don't feel like it, make sure these negative spirits, if there is a negative energy, you want to get rid of it. And the bell seems, from what I understand, that's what gets rid of them. Um, people do use different techniques, but the bell sound from what I've read, and, and Marilyn said, yes, the, the high-pitched bell, they don't, a, a, a bad um, spirit energy does not like that. Any negative spirits, please go away. I'm going to roll the die, spirit. I know you're here with me. I want to give you a name, but I need to find out if you were a male a female or neutral. I'm going to roll the dice. Can you give me a one, two, or three spirit? A two. Thank you, spirit. And the um, boy, the, the spirits, the energy, uh, Marilyn said they love you know, playing with devices and helping you roll dice and um, and that's where you can get a lot of the answers that you're asking. Thank you, Spirit. You can communicate with this device. Let's see how we... Oh, oh wow. 
we have a female. Yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, they're, they're saying that it's not looking good for these ladies, that they may have not made it. They may, they may have passed on to the other life, you know, the other world. So, boy, this is something. Okay. I felt like that card was talking to me, you know, with it being a, a female presence. Um, and also the spirit that's around me, the energy I was doing this, it really felt like there was a female spirit in the air. So Now, spirit, I want to give you a name. So I want to give you a name. And I have a list of names here. I'm going to pull out two numbers. So what I do here, this is the, uh, since it's a female that come up on the card, on the gender card, I decide, I decide I, that I'll just pull the, a lady's name. I'll, I'll give my energy a lady's name. Now, the numbers in, these, in this bag here, there's like a bunch of numbers from zero to nine, okay? But um, that's how I get the name you'll see here but for whatever reason sometimes these numbers that come out of the bag has something to do with what we're talking about so from the bag just give me a num two numbers that I can call you okay uh, the nine yeah so a nine came up So we'll say 89. Okay. So I looked up, I did a search, and I couldn't find anything what uh, 89 would mean in this case. I mean, there could be something. So if you folks know what 89 is possibly maybe saying, let me know. It could be maybe either the 8 or a 9. So, so let's see what your name is. See who we're going to call you here. 89. So I've just made up a list about a hundred um, names uh, for ladies and men on a on a other sheet for the men and and the neutral. But this is the ladies, and I got to tell you, folks. Sometimes when I'm doing this, it will come up with the exact name that. Um, that I'm, you know, I'm doing this session with. Like, I was doing one for Dylan Rounds, um, and the number came up. I pulled the numbers just like I did here, but the name Dylan came up, and I was like, oh, oh man, I was, well, I, it was something. Emery. Emery. All right. Emery. Let's write that down. Emery, because... Uh... That I don't remember everything. Good. Now, Emery, I don't know. I couldn't find anything. Our spirit name is. That's that. The beacon is liking that apparently. Emery. See, they're liking their name. Wow. Emery. So, if this name means anything to you for this case, if you know, if you're watching and you know these ladies or something, let me know if this name has come up or if it has anything to be related to the ladies here. Emery, Marie, that sounds beautiful, beautiful name. All right, Spirit Emery. You can communicate, Emery. Thank you, Emery. Put these back in there. All right. Now, Emery, we have a lady here, and we don't have any negative spirits. If they are here, go away. Emery, Spirit Emery, I need a fortune teller to help with Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly's case here. You're trying to communicate with this device, aren't you? Yeah, so when you see them lights on that device... Folks, I've got to tell you, the energy, the energy is passing by the antenna, and it's creating that. And like I said, sometimes there'll be so much, it, the whole thing will just will not stop. Every light will go blasting in there. So, Emory, I'm 
I hear you. Thank you. <laughs> I need a fortune teller. Here's our fortune tellers, Emory. You've seen this. Yeah, the fortune tellers, I love this part, folks, because it gives us uh, a special meaning to a card, and we'll get into the uh, fortune tellers here in just a moment. But I'm asking the spirits to help me find one that'll fit this story. Before Emory, haven't you? You've been here before, haven't you? Okay, Emory. I need a... Yeah. It felt like that this energy had been here. So that's why I was asking Emery, or you know, telling my spirit, that hey, Emery, you've been here before. Fortune teller. And I'm going to lay these out. And if you, you will, give me another number, Emery. I know you like the numbers. You're doing good, Emery. Spirit Emery. Yeah, Marilyn said, as you go along, you should always... Give your spirit, your energy that's around you. Give them, you know, uh, make sure they understand that you're appreciative of them, that they're doing a good job. You know, praise them. Give them good, you know, that you're doing great. They love that. Okay. Give me a one, two, three, or four for a fortune teller. A three. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you, Emery. Thank you. You're such a good spirit. Let's see who we have. Oh, look. <laughs> we have Lester Halogeny. Folks, I got to tell you, I love this story. If you have not watched the little video I have on Lester, please do so. It's only maybe two minutes long, if that. All of them, there's, there's different. I use four fortune tellers in my readings most of the time. And each one of the fortune teller. Uh, represents like either a diamond, club, heart, or spade. Well, Lester here has a very unique story. So let me bring this up so you can see here. So you can kind of get a better picture of Lester. This is uh, Lester Heligenia, um and was born in 1888, and he passed away in 1955. But he was a, in Seoul, Korea, I think, he was a fortune teller there. Very well known and very respected. So, yeah, definitely an interesting story there. Hello, spirits. Whoops. Uh, I didn't set it right for my, but I had it to set to uh, start oh. back over. Sorry about that. Let's just scan through this. And, and there we go. Sorry about that. Oh, Jenny. He represents the diamonds, and we'll get back to Lester here in just a few moments. Thank you, Emery, Spirit Emery. Now, Spirit Emery, it is time for a card for Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. These two... Now, that's another thing that I always try to tell folks. First of all, I'm not a psychic, but I what I do, I do it completely different i only pull one of the terror spirit cards and Marilyn said yes you can get a really good story and wait till you see this Went one missing march 30th 2024 as you well may know and this card is going to cover for both of the ladies and their story so um, i was going to do two different cards i asked Marilyn about that and she said normally you know, you could, but since the story is all about the two ladies, the one card would cover, you know, what you're talking about. So I just went ahead and went with one, and, well, it we just need pretty good. some information. Spirit Emery, if you can just give us some information, one card that'll give us some kind of information about their disappearance. They've not been found. And we feel that something tragic has happened to them. Mm. Man, I've, I've, you're communicating, aren't you? You can communicate, Emery. You can talk to me. I'm going to roll the dice again. Wow. I'm going to roll the dice. You tell me where this, how many cards from one to six to deal out that will help us understand the situation for Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. Spirit Emery, give me a number. Four, 
or six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Thank you. Yep. And I, also, I do reversals. Some people don't on the cards, but I do because I it it brings a story to a whole different dimension. I believe. Murray. Okay, Emery, let's see what we have. What is the card? Is it forward? Is it a reverse card? Oh, it is reversed. Yeah. Oh, my. And it is the Two of Wands. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that the, the beacon, the ghost beacon at the top there, the the lights, the, they start flashing. and uh, But yeah, the Two of Wands, and it's reversed, oh. so... Okay, the two of wands. Okay, so I've got the card up here, and I want you to look. And notice, Marilyn always says that you want to look, whatever deck of cards you're using, you always want to look at the, at the picture. The picture will tell you the whole story of that card and what's going on. And you can see that the ladies... This lady here is looking right into whatever, a, a globe or some kind of crystal ball looking type thing um, and trying to figure out what's going on. And the ones, well, they're just, you know, they're a part of this whole picture here. So let's go over what the card means, what the meaning of the two of wands reverse means. Okay, so I kind of just put this on in the screen so it would help us. So now these, uh, let's see. Yeah. So this is, okay, so this is the key meanings of what this card means. Fear of change, indefensiveness. I can't say it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying, I'm so nervous right now with this card just coming up. It just got me. When I was reading this, and um, restricted options, the lack of planning. See that right there? That kind of pops out. The fear of the unknown, staying put. That really, uh, that rip, folks, you know, that really just really got me right there. Um, the um, they canceled immigration. I don't know what that meant. Um, deciding not to go. See. What if, folks, what if they had just had decided not to go, the two ladies? Is that what this card is saying? Being held back, um, uh, choosing the safest option. I'm feeling that this statement right here, folks, is saying that it's trying to, you know, I, I, you don't know, that when they encountered, whatever these ladies encountered, they're, they were trying to choose maybe the safest option. If this card is part of uh, what's going on, I feel like that's what this, this is. Maybe one of them had self-doubt. Could that be in disappointment? I'm sure. Uh, and the anic climax uh, canceled or delayed travel, choosing the mundane, mundane life, sudden, sudden arrival or return. Boy, so... That's the key words. So the key mean, the general meaning of this card, let me get it up here. So it'll say here, so we can read it here. Um, in a general context, the two of wands reverse represents intercept, in, in, I can't even say that, fear of change uh, and fear of the unknown. When reverse, it's a minor arcana card. Uh, of lack of planning, oh my goodness, Restrict, restricted options, being held back, and disappointment. It can represent uh, staying put, deciding not to go, cancel or delay travel, or canceled uh, immigration. Um, the two, and see, when I saw that, delay or cancel the, uh, the or travel, you know, travel, canceled or delayed travel, I'm like, ooh. The two of ones reverse can also uh, signify choosing uh, the safest bet, mm. choosing a mundane life, so uh, anti-climax, and self 
doubt. It can also signify the sudden arrival or return of a person into your life. See, I don't know, folks, if you're a, a professional psychic out there and you read cards, tell me what you think this card means, but it's talking about traveling, it's talking about two people, the two, well, to me, it, uh, Marilyn says it, it is concentrating on the two entities of what's going on with life because it, of what you're asking. And for it to be reversed, this, it's, there's something that happened that had been canceled out that was supposed to happen, but it didn't happen. And I believe me, I understand what she's trying to say on that. So, man, this card, but... Definitely let me know what you think, what you think the Two of Wands uh, means. Very surprising. Okay. Thank you, Emery. I'm going to grab my glasses here. Because I keep forgetting that uh, I need glasses. Emery, you're doing a good job. Spirit Emery, you're doing really good. Emery. Now, Spirit Emery, we have here, these are the Cardamancy cards, and this is where... And folks, um, like I said, and if you have saw the other videos, you'll notice that what I'll tell you that about these cards, these are, they're uh, pretty much poker cards. Uh, the Cardamancy Divination cards, where you can get a kind of a right in your face kind of prediction from the past, present, and in future. And some of the stuff on these cards are just truly crazy what the stories come up on, what each one of the cards well, stand for. We're going to help with our fortune teller, Lester Heligenia. Yep. So, I'm going to stop right there. And he represents the diamonds. Yep. See, that's what I was talking about. So we'll be flipping through the cards until we get a diamond card. So the first diamond we come to, this will be a card that will give us some information about Julian Kelly and Veronica Butler, their disappearance. The first diamond we come to. Yeah, these cards are so unique. They really are. They're beautiful cards. Oh, here we go. Yep, the five, five of diamonds. diamonds. Oh, good. Yep. So take a look at this card, folks. I mean, it's called the Peddler's Ace. Ace, and it's boy, this there's this is a broken down card. Okay, you're in the center. There's things around you. You're trying to dodge things, but you've got an old person here and it's holding, it looks like he's holding maybe a coin or something in his hand, but he looks very mysterious, right? Like maybe he's up to something. Um, so that was something. And let's see what the cards, what it's, what the meaning of this card is. And the first word, as you see there, is homeless, homelessness. And I asked uh, Marilyn, what did she think that mean? What that what that meant that this card is trying to say? And it's she said it's without home. There's someone that don't have a home now. So, oh Lord, Lord. So, yeah, this card is kind of breaks it down. As you can see, is homeless, homelessness, uh, poor situations. Yep. Begging for the goods, that's, that's scary. With large donations, old ways, lonely traveler, old age men or women crossing your path, Ooh. torn and tethered clothes and unshaved and uncut hair. Now, I'll tell you what, she's, well, let me uh, go ahead and I'll let it run through. I'll tell you what Marilyn, she seemed to say about this. The state and the country of this card, it, it'll always bring this up. They put this in, in the readings um, of this definition card. The state um, is California and Nevada. 
Okay, so that's what this, I don't know if this means anything with this case. Uh, and then the country is the United Kingdom. So if you folks know anything that this may mean about this case, about Veronica Butler and uh, Julian Kelly, let me know in there, in the comments. So this card is called the Cross, the Crossroads and the Peddler's Ace. Be careful in the deals of transactions of any kind. Oh, Lord. When I saw that, I'm like, mm. You're in the middle and you have to and you have four different directions to choose for, to choose. So choose very wisely. The five of diamonds means that when choosing wisely, it is a success card. Typically in a business can also mean success in your home. Also may mean you have a good marriage or a romantic relationship with a good home or by choosing a situation very wisely but choosing poorly you can dissolve everything you work for folks and Marilyn said this card is telling her that whatever decision that these two ladies made it was not the best decision they should have changed their direction they should have went another direction they may have felt at the time before any of the bad stuff that happened to them, they may have felt that something was un uneasy and that it was just a poor situation, a poor choosing. And unfortunately, they chose the wrong uh, decision or the wrong path. That's what uh, Marilyn is saying. She felt like this card was saying. And, uh, but yeah. So we're going to go on down here and this is a message that each one of the cards will have on on the card and it is just so amazing what each card has to say. So this is from our fortune teller Lester Hella Jennings and it says your message from this card is scars are like battle wounds beautiful in a way they show what you've been through and how strong you are for coming out of it boy what a that's an amazing message and then it goes on it says this message is possibly from what was what is or what could be thanks for listening to my message today please be aware of your upcoming travels be safe good evening isn't that something folks yeah, the scars are like battle wounds. Yeah. Ah, this card is just uh, something that it came up. And the, uh, you know, and the two of wands. Oh, goodness. So, the peddler's ace. Okay, we'll get back to this here in just a few moments here. Thank you, Spirit, Emery, and Lester Halogenia. Thank you for that. All right. Now, Spirit Emery. We have, we have, these are the ghost blocks. And folks, um, if you've just now seen this, the ghost blocks are, there's 10 dice in there. And each one of the dice has an image on it, except for one. One is like a regular dice. But each one of these dice tell a story. So here we go. This is the story of what I feel like the spirit is trying to, t our spirit, Emery, is trying to talk to us and tell us here. And you've seen these before, haven't you? Spirit Emery, I need to know how many blocks to bring out of the bag to tell a story of Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. Can you help me? I feel your presence here. Yep. I did. How many blocks to bring out of the bag? One, two, one through six. Oh, wow. Gosh. Six. Okay. I couldn't believe when six came out. I said, oh, my goodness. Emily is really wanting to talk to us. <laughs> we got a story going on here, folks. Get this out of the way. Yeah, that, um, it's crazy what these stories, the blocks come up right. with. Oh, boy. We got chatter. We got talk. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
been a lot of talk about this. Oh, we got the castle. That's mm, somebody ruling the kingdom. Well, we got a, a mask. Uh -huh. Somebody behind the mask. Looking. Yep. Somebody hiding. Oh. Hiding behind something. I hear you. Ooh. You're communicating. Wow. You can communicate, Emery. You can talk to me. We Ooh. got fire. We got fire. That was scary oh, when that came up. That's... Mm. Okay. We got a light. A flashlight. Mm. Wow. Okay. And one more. Something shining on this situation. Wow. When we have the shadow. Yep. We got the shadow. Thank you, Emery. Look at this. And we had communication Look with at this. Emery. So we have the speech bubble. Yep, there's the speech bubble. Now, what this one stands for is international languages. So could be a foreign inter uh, entity that may be involved, you know, with this situation. Could be, you know, someone from another country. Um, talking, communication, gossiping, um, instructions, and screams. And, oh boy, you know, folks... This is what I'm talking about. This the story but that comes up. You know, the communications is what I'm saying. Somebody was planning something is what this is what Marilyn is saying. That she sees that she sees a, a plan that was in place, that there was screams that happened, there was a desperation, there's something horrible that happened. But the people that did this, they're communicating and they're talking to each other and she thinks that it could be somebody that's from another country that's involved with this situation too so interesting and the r there i've i added these uh on there because the r it's just it could mean something but i have no idea so if you know what any of these little end of the individual letters mean let me know in the comments, but it's uh, so interesting how this comes out. So Somebody's talking. Yes, they are. Boy, I bet a lot Somebody, of people... Somebody, we have the castle. Okay, so this one, monuments and castles, dungeons, a royal a royalty, fantasy, kingdoms, rich, poor, prisons, jails, weapons, no escape. Folks... I like to piss my pants when I saw this. And Marilyn, when she saw this, she says, yeah, you see what this is saying, don't you? It's picked up on, uh, there's there's people involved here that's in jail. Now, Veronica's ex-husband, uh, Wrangler Rickman, I believe his name, he's in jail right now in rehab. So the whole story, and you can go to my other channel, and I've got information, you know, about the story of... Uh, Veronica and, and Julian and but it's talking about escape. There's no escape. And that's what Marilyn was talk was focusing on. The weapons and no escape. She feels like just because this one little image came up that is trying to spirit whatever energy we have that's in our pre presence, like Emery, um, is trying to say with this one image there was no escape and there was weapons involved. And we do know that they're saying these poor women got shot. So that's very disturbing that this came up. But it's very interesting that it came up. So no doubt something picked up on this. Which means possibly somebody's looking out yep. for things. This is a one person... This could be an alien. Yeah, I was, when I saw this, I said, alien? And what would that mean? But they are out in the middle of nowhere. The mask hiding behind something, spying phenomenon, and the letter M. So I asked Marilyn, now, what do you think? Why would this come up if there's a reason? Now, not all the time these images come up and mean anything to this, but she said, the number one thing that's 
coming up is hiding behind something. She said that whatever was planned to stop, they were hiding until the right moment that they needed to act. And the alien part, she said, it's the unknown person, the unknown entity, the unknown living being. So these ladies, they, they didn't know. But if you also, the last one, you know, it was talking about, you know, a person from maybe another country. We got alien on this one. So she said there's definitely something about that, uh, that part right there. But yeah. It's, um, boy, the stories, what these will tell you, could you know. be something that's not, not exactly good. We have fire. And then we got an alien and again. So, see, the, we've got, she said that uh, there's something going on with that. You got a mask. You got hiding behind something, spying phenomenon. And... Um, actually, I may have I may have put that on there wrong. They're wrong. I, I put the wrong one. But um, let me see if I can bring up on that. I apologize, for, folks. I was trying to get the right uh, thing on there. So let give me just a moment, and let's see if we can figure out what is going on on with this. That's the thing, you know, when you're doing stuff like this, you're you're in a hurry, you're trying to get things going, and let's see if we can, let's see, oh shoot, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up, maybe I can, maybe I can, just bear with me, um, and that's, that's what I'm saying, the, um, oh shoot, where are you at, I was trying to, trying to find out, where the uh, okay here we go let's see i've got let me fire fire no okay all right i'll tell you what we'll do sorry about that this is a new way i was trying to get this going so look at this here it is sorry about that fire very hot gas danger burning explosion oh cooking and fuel and the letter m so we know that from what we've been told that this this whole deal there's been gunshots right somebody got shot so explosions on that would that mean that um i mean possibly but then we have burning and fire very hot gosh there ain't no tell let me know what you think what you think that means um on this and uh, next time I do a reading, I'll, I'll triple check and uh, ask about that. Because when I show, uh, showed Marilyn, uh, she didn't even notice that. She just she fire. looked at she looked at the uh, image and said, "Oh, something something desperately something scary happened." And so, we have light. Let's see, I hope I put the right one on here. I did. Okay, here we go. Look at this, folks. Bright lights, searching. What do you think? What's going on with the situation? Please, emergency, shining, darkness, and guidance. This one really picked up on the situation. It just truly did. And so, and but the thing that's uh, that stood out, the word here was searching and police. So, I believe that's why this possibly came up on that. So, we have a flashlight. Wow. And then the next one, and we have the shadow. We got the shadow. Now, frightening, lost, evil, bad intentions, death, being followed. Folks, I don't know what else could have came up. And the letter Y. I don't know what else could have came up on this. But this, this is scary, folks. This is scary. Think about this. Law, evil, bad intentions. Somebody had bad intentions. Being followed. You know they were being followed. They know the direction. So I saw this. I said, man, I cannot believe this one came up. But you know, that's why I love the blocks. Know the shadow. It We've tells seen me, before, you know, we? tells us Emory, more of a story. Thank you so, so much. Now, Spirit Emory. We need the message back. 
We need the message bag. Now the message bag, folks, if you don't get a good story from the blocks, you're probably going to get a good story or interesting quote from the bag. The bag has over a thousand, about 1,500 messages in this bag. And I feel like the spirits are trying to help me pull out the right one that could communicate with this story. Right. So. Here is the message bag. And you've seen this before, Spirit Emery, haven't you? You can communicate, but I need some messages to come out of this bag. How many messages would you like me to pull out of the bag? One through six, Spirit Emery. One through six. How many? Two. 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 Okay. Yeah, you never know. It could be one to, or six. So. The last reading was six, I believe. Thank you, Spirit Emery. You've done that was on an amazing job. Self Rogers, I think. All right. So we have two. Look at the here. look so at the beacon. See what the first one, the message here. She is handicapped. Oh Folks, she, when I saw this, I asked Marilyn. I said, Marilyn, what does this mean? What is this? She said, Well, they're handicapped. They can't move. She said, That's it. They can't move. And I, I, it cold chills came over. Now, I don't know if either one of the ladies were handicapped before anything happened. If you all know that know these ladies, let me know in the comments. But that's what Marilyn is saying. They're, they're paralyzed. They're not, they're not moving. He is handicapped. Which is so sad. What do you think that means? So sad on She that. is handicapped. Your love and appreciation for other people shows. Yep. You know, folks, if we have some spirits here, um, and if for whatever reason, the ladies, you know, if they've passed into the next world, and I, I'm always a person, until we know for sure, I'm a person that says, you know, I feel like that I want everybody to be okay you know, and I want these ladies to be okay for their children, you know, uh, and I want them to be alive. But if for whatever reason they're not and they're into the afterlife, could this be a message to us? Your love and appreciation for the uh, for other people shows. So they may be saying and telling us, you know, they appreciate you showing the light on their story. But, uh, and that's what Marilyn is saying, too. She said that the Spirit is trying to tell people that, that it's great that you folks are looking for this story and trying to find the answers. So, oh, my goodness. Your love Some of this stuff. and appreciation for other people shows. Spirit yeah. Emery, is this talking about Julian? Because that's what she was doing. She was only... Yeah, that's another thing that I was thinking to at the time. Julian, you know, she was, you know, she went out of her way to help uh, Veronica go meet up with the children. Um, and they were friends uh, or acquaintances. And, um, and you know, Julie didn't have to do this. She could have said, no, somebody else can go. But that was the big heart that you feel like that Julian had. You know, so bless her heart, you know. And I feel like that Veronica would have never wanted to put Julian in any kind of danger, you know. So this is just a bad situation that happened. I just feel like so. Okay. She is handicapped. All right. Okay, well, Spirit Emery? Spirit Emery? Uh, I hear you. You're communicating, aren't you? Oh, wow. We need answers. We need to find these ladies. And I know you can help us. I'm going to ask that you, we end this session right now because I don't feel comfortable about going any further right now. Yeah, I, I want to release you. I didn't feel like any, something came across me that I'm, I just got cold chills. I, I, I just didn't feel right. 
I don't know if maybe a bad spirit or energy came in, but uh, I just didn't feel right, so I didn't want to continue on. You, Spirit Emory, I want you to come back and visit again, but right now you're welcome to leave this session. And any negative spirits, please leave this session. Thank you, Spirit Emory. I will request your presence again. Thank you. See, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure you release the energy and tell them to go ahead. They can leave. Uh, invite them back when you request them. But make sure you tell them goodbye. So, so that was our reading on that. So, boy, folks, I tell you, this this reading just really, no, it. This story has really got me emotional because I just there's so many things about this whole story that just is so wrong in so many ways with the ladies going disappearing you know with that the children don't have there's two moms that don't have their children there's two sets of children that don't have their mom and don't know what's going on so folks let me know in the comment what you think about this reading what you pick up um and if, a, like I said, if you do have a, uh, if you are a professional psychic, I love to hear your reaction and what you think. And um, boy, I just hope and pray that we get some good, re you know, re um, resolution for this uh, outcome. I hope the ladies are alive. Unfortunately, I just, as more time goes by, it's not looking too good. But I wanted to do this reading to kind of feel what was going on and with the situation because I have been keeping up with it for three weeks since it started. I think it's three weeks today, yeah, that this happened. So, um, and folks, if you uh, if you did like this presentation, if you would, if you please hit the like button, I appreciate that so much. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, to my channel. If you will, do so, because it'll let you know when there's another reading come out. And I've got uh, more coming out. Um, I'm going to do an individual that is that we know is alive. And it's done a little bit different. Pretty much the same, but it's different. But I'll go into that. But I really wanted to concentrate on this story and see what the the results to this, you know, with the ladies. I feel so bad for them. Well, folks, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it for a, a day right now. And I just really appreciate you folks watching. I um, tell you, I want you, if you have loved ones, please go and give them a hug. Tell them you love them. Folks, you never know, right? You never know. Well, folks, this is George. And until next time, please be safe, and I will see you down the road. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.